Hey guys, Brady here. And um, so they just announced the director of the next Now You See Me movie, uh, which is interesting. I didn't know they'd, they'd make a third movie, but glad they're trying to make it into a trilogy now. The last one was directed by John M. Chu, who I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, his movies are kind of lackluster in my opinion. I did not care for G.I. Joe Retaliation. And then right after that movie, he did the, um, he, he did Gem and the Holograms and that was terrible. And he did Now You See Me Too right after Gem and the Holograms. And Now You See Me Too was, was good, but I think the first one was a little bit better. Uh, I don't know. I got to watch those two movies again. I've only seen them once each. Um, but... I don't know. Uh, John M. Chu, whenever I see his name attached to a project, eh, the movie's probably not going to be good because I thought G.I. Joe Retaliation was terrible. I thought, unpopular opinion right now, I thought the first movie was a little bit better. Um, but uh, I know that movie gets a lot of shit, but I had so much fun with that movie, I don't fucking care. It's a guilty pleasure. But... Um, I wish they would have gotten someone that, that that is not the director of Step Up 2, or was it Step Up 2 or Step Up 3? Maybe it was both. But yeah, I wish they would have gotten someone uh, better. Uh, I can't think of anyone at the, at, at the moment right now, but I think John M. Chu is the wrong choice to direct a big-budget action movie uh, like G.I. Joe. Um, and then they got Robert Schwendke for... Uh, uh, Snake Eyes, who directed the last two Insurgent movies, and um, and R.I.P.D., which I heard is getting a straight-to-DVD sequel, like, ten years later. Um, but, yeah, when I saw that, that his name was attached to Snake Eyes, I was like, yeah, this movie's gonna be terrible, because he also directed the first Red movie. He didn't do the second one. He did the first Red, and I thought, the first red was really fucking boring. I liked the second one. The second one was a step up in my opinion. But red two or red one, mm -mm, I I didn't enjoy it that much. So he 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 he's for me he's done like a lot of misfires. Um, Robert Schwenke and Snake Eyes just added to that. And then same with John M. Chu. Uh, I haven't seen In the Heights, although I really want to. I just bought that the other day. Can't wait to see it. Um, but I'm not going to see Crazy Rich Asians because it just does not interest me whatsoever. But anyway, let's get back on point. Now You See Me 3 is being directed by Ruben Fleischer, who is uh, known for Zombieland, Zombieland 2, Venom, Uncharted, um, and then Gangster Squad in 30 minutes or less. Uh, his movies are, are fun, in my opinion. I love how fun his movies are. Uh, they may not be like the best thing to come out of cinema but i do enjoy myself when i watch his movies i thought venom was tons of fun i thought uncharted was really fun uh but i understand if you're a long time fan of the uncharted games the movie wasn't for you um you had i i'd understand if you had your issues with that movie but i i had fun with the uncharted movies i'm, I, I'm excited to see what he does with the next now you see me um yeah so what are your thoughts? Sorry if I've been if I rambled a lot in this video, uh, but what are your thoughts on the directing choice for the next Now You See Me? Do you think do you like Ruben Fleischer? Do you not like Ruben Fleischer? Do you think they could have gotten someone better than him? Uh, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.